Good morning, friends. I hope you are as excited to be here as I am today. We are gonna continue learning about dinosaurs. I have a special book and a special craft that we're going to do today, and I can't wait. So let's get started by singing our good morning song. Are you ready? Good morning, little sprouts, how are you? Good, good. Good morning, little sprouts, how are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, little sprouts, how are you? Good, good. Great job singing, friends. All right, let's say good morning to mummies and daddies and good morning to brothers and sisters and good morning to me, Miss Tracy. Good morning, friends. Can you tell me how you're doing today? Great job. Today, I feel, well, I didn't get a very good sleep last night, so I'm a little tired, but I feel pretty good otherwise. So today gets two thumbs up from me. All right, so as I said, we're gonna keep talking about dinosaurs. I've got a very special book we're gonna read today. And then I have a very exciting, awesome craft that we're going to do. But first, let's figure out what day of the week it is. So show me your two fingers and your five fingers, and let's start singing our song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great singing. All right. Do we know what day of the week it is today? Well, yesterday it was Sunday, which means today is m m Monday. Great job. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday and we're going to have some fun. All right, friends, so we figured out that today is Monday. Do we remember what month it is? Let's sing our song. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Do you remember what month it is? It's okay if you don't remember, but it's March. All right, so we figured out that it's Monday and we figured out that it's March, but we haven't figured out what number this is. So let's count from number one and see if we can figure it out. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, and 22. So today is number 22. All right, so now we just need to figure out how to write that on the board. So I'm gonna get our marker. Today I've got purple, and we're gonna write Monday. March. And then what was the number? That's right, number 22. There we go. All right. So now that we've done the date, it's time to do our weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? So I wanna know 
what the weather is where you are. Use your looking eyes to look outside your window and tell me what you see. Great job. Where I am today at preschool, I see sun. I see a little bit of clouds. And I could feel the wind. Today, our panda, or our sloth, I still can't use, get used to the, that we have a sloth and not a, the panda. So the sloth is going to wear his rubber boots. And I still think he should wear his pants. It's not quite warm enough for shorts. And I think today, yeah, I still think his hoodie is the best bet. Actually, he could wear this. He'll wear his warm sweater. There we go. And his sunglasses, because it is a little bit sunny outside. All right. There we go. So now our sloth is ready for the day. So it is still March, and the weather is still sunny but cold, so it's still going to sit there. All right. Excellent. Let's do our craft. So today, I'll read our story in a minute. I am going to help you make a 3D dinosaur. So today you need a paper plate, a toilet paper tube or um, paper towel tube. You can use some of your paint sticks. I have a googly eye. I also need scissors and some glue. So this is what we're going to do. Miss Trace is also going to get a marker. So the first thing, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my paper plate in half. So I'm going to get a little bit of help. And you can ask a grown-up for help too. You can draw a line down the middle of your paper plate. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. So open, shut. Remember, Tommy thumb points up and your finger family goes in the big scissor hole and points down. Open, shut. Open, shut. Open, shut. Open, shut. Open, shut. Open, shut. Okay. So now I've got half of my dinosaur. The next thing I'm going to do on the second half of my dinosaur is I'm going to draw the rest of my dinosaur. So if, if you imagine for a moment that this is the dinosaur body, we need a dinosaur head. So I am going to use this, the rest of the paper plate, and I'm going to draw along the curve and make a head out of this part. So you might need a grown-up's help to help you draw this part. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it out. And it's okay if yours doesn't look like mine. Yours is meant to look like whatever kind of dinosaur you want it to look like. So there's my dinosaur head. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out some triangles for some plates like you might see on a stegosaurus. So I'm going to cut out three three of these. So I don't need this anymore so it can go away. So now I have my dinosaur body, my dinosaur head, and my dinosaur spikes. Then I'm going to cut this toilet paper tube in half. Also, you will need a grown-up's help because this part can be tricky. So you can draw the line down the middle of your tube. Fold it in half. This is a trick. So you're going to fold it in half. Tommy thumb goes up, open, shut, open, shut, open, shut. Now this is tough because you're going through two pieces of cardboard. So it's okay if you need to ask for help from a grown up in order to cut this part. But I do want you to try because it's always important that we try. Okay. Last thing I'm going to do with my scissors is I'm going to line this up here. So I'm going to have a look, okay? And I'm going to make 
two little slits for my paper plate in my toilet paper roll. Just little ones. They don't need to be that big. And then my scissors are going to go away for now. I might need them later in case this didn't quite match up, but we're going to try. So now I'm going to set these pieces and I'm going to color with my paint marker. So I picked green and blue. You don't have to use the paint markers. You could use markers or pencil crayons. You could even use paint if you want, but I'm going to color on my dinosaur. So my dinosaur body is going to be green. And then I'm going to use a little bit of blue for this top part. And I'm not going to get quite all the way in there, which I think kind of looks cool. And I'm even getting a little bit of the green up in here. So use your helper hand or your helper finger to hold your dinosaur down while you keep painting. Okay, so I'm going to call that guy good. I'm going to do my spikes blue. So I'll get my three spikes here. I'm going to paint them blue with my paint marker, my paint stick. There we go. Okay. And then the head of my dinosaur, I'm going to do green. So I'm going to put my blue paint stick away and get this one out. But actually, now I've changed my mind. I think I want to do this bit blue. Kind of reminds me of the frill on a triceratops. So we're going to do some blue up here. There we go. That looks kind of cool. There. Awesome. Okay, so now my paint markers, or my markers or whatever can go away. I'm going to use my glue. So I'm gonna open my glue. I am going to glue my spikes first. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom and just press them to the back of my dinosaur so that the painted side is pointing out. One, two, and then my third one. Okay, so this is what it should look like right now. I've done my body and my spikes. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue on my, actually I'll do the eyeball first. So I'm going to pick up my googly eye and I'm gonna put some glue on the back of it. You might find that the white glue is a little bit better for this, but I'm gonna try it with the glue stick and just push. Let's count to five. One two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I'm going to use a little bit of glue on my dinosaur's neck. There we go. Put my glue away. And then glue my head. So now I have to hold this. So I want to press and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now I have most of my dinosaur. Looks pretty cool, I think, but I'm still missing its legs, which is this part here. You can paint these if you want to make it match the rest of your dinosaur. I'll do it quickly. We'll just do one side. Excellent.
Excellent. Okay, so now my green and blue dinosaur has some green legs. So now I'm going to find the little bits I cut, the little slits. Right there and right there. And then I'm going to line my dinosaur up. And I'm going to poke the plate through the little slits. One and two. Okay, and then I'll do the other one. Now you might need a grown-up to help help you because this is a little bit finicky. Oops, I lost a spike. Glue that back on in a second. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna glue my spike back on. And there is our 3D dinosaur. Mine looks a little bit like Actually, I don't even know. A stegosaurus, maybe with an apatosaurus, or I don't know. But it looks really cool either way. So there's my dinosaur. I'm pretty proud of this guy. What should I name him? I might name him Tubby. Just Tubby my dinosaur. Okay. So now that our dinosaur is finished, we can read our story. So today, I have a storybook called If You Happen to have a dinosaur. Are you ready? Can you show me what being a good listener looks like to Miss Tracy? So we're sitting, either you're sitting in a chair or you're on the floor. You could be sitting crisscross applesauce or with your legs out to the side like mountain, um, or sorry, up like mountain or to the side like mermaid. Your hands are in your lap, your listening ears are turned on, and your talking mouths are I'm a good listener, read me a book. My hands are in my lap and at Miss Tracy I look. When she sees I'm ready, she will say, here is the story I have for you today. So, if you happen to have a dinosaur. If you happen to have a dinosaur lying around your living room and you don't know what to do with it, maybe you could use it as a can opener. <laughs> Mom does not look very impressed that this dinosaur is being used as a can opener. <laughs> it would make a great coffee grinder too or a nutcracker, or a potato masher. What happened? Did the potatoes go everywhere? Oh my goodness. And if you need a burglar alarm, your dinosaur is just the thing. There are oodles of things you can do with a dinosaur. Try taking it into your yard. It will mow your lawn. Trim your trees, blow your leaves, and dig you a garden in no time flat. Look at all these dinosaurs. Yes, a dinosaur is handy any season of the year. On rainy days, it makes a fine umbrella. In winter, it's a snow plow. And on hot summer days, just park it by the pool. Your friends will line up to try your exciting new diving board. Just think of all the things your dinosaur can do. Does it have sharp teeth? You can use it to shred paper. It will also be a great excuse if you forget your homework. So this dinosaur ate this little boy's homework. Hmm. Some dinosaurs make wonderful babysitters, but not all dinosaurs are suited to this work. Some dinosaurs make excellent kites but not all dinosaurs are suited to this work either. 
Do you think this one would make a good kite? I don't think so. There are some things a dinosaur is just not good for at all. Do not ask your dinosaur to carry your picnic basket or what will happen? Will your dinosaur eat your picnic? Or push your grocery cart? Or hold your popcorn bowl? If you study your dinosaur carefully, you'll be able to use it wisely. A small dinosaur will make a dandy pillow or a footstool or a bookmark. A tall dinosaur will clean your roof drains, wash your windows, and rescue your kitty lickety split. Once you start using your dinosaur, you'll never want to stop. The possibilities are amazing. So we have this dinosaur helping with the paper root, and this dinosaur is eating the compost, and this dinosaur is helping the kids cross the street. This one is holding the basketball hoop. Let's see what else we got. This one is a taxi. This one is holding up this van so this man can work on it. This one is helping this blind woman walk, and this one is watering the flowers, and this one is delivering mail. And if you treat your dinosaur well, you will have it for a very long time. But what if you don't happen to have a dinosaur lying around your living room? Because not what if you have an octopus instead? Or a porcupine? A penguin? A saber tooth? A sasquatch? A dodo? Or a camel? Or a kangaroo? What can you do with a kangaroo? Hmm. I wonder what we could do with a kangaroo. What a good storybook, friends. All right, that is all I have for us today. I can't wait to see you all at our meeting this afternoon. So let's get out our working hands. Ready? All day long we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played. All day long we worked and played, and now our day is done. Wave goodbye to all your friends, all your friends, all your friends. Wave goodbye to all your friends until we meet again. Bye friends, I'll see you soon.